been painting on watercolor paper for a long long time now that I have literally lost track of where some of my old paintings are. One question I mostly get from my friends and viewers are how I store my paintings. Do I sell them? Do I use portfolio bags or do I just throw them away? Well, it may not be surprising to you that I have kept every single painting that I have ever made and cannot even think of throwing the worst of the paintings. But now, I've reached the tipping point. I have no idea what to do with them and completely lost track of all of it. And that is why I am shifting to sketchbooks. Hey friends, I'm Geetu, an aerospace engineer by profession with an art business as a side hustle and an instructor. On this channel, we explore the little insights from my studio, my working systems, strategies, my productivity routine with a full-time job and a toddler, my paintings and much more. I get a lot of offers to buy my paintings, but I have always turned them down or rejected them as I didn't ever want to get into the hassle of the packaging and the shipping process. I have enjoyed painting on loose paper all these years and I probably cannot completely shift to sketchbooks because I still think that using sheets of paper is more ideal and aesthetic for teaching my online classes. And of course, I can't abandon the massive amount of paper blocks and sheets waiting for me in my studio cupboard. But as an artist with a consistent painting habit, I'm going to shift all my learning and practice sessions, my random artworks into a sketchbook as much as I can. Reflecting back onto my artistic journey of four years, in the past few months has transformed my thoughts as to how I want to monitor my growth and develop productive and effective habits to suit my current lifestyle. And I believe sketchbooks are the best way forward. Here are five reasons why I think you should maintain a sketchbook as well. Number one, they are great because you're not confined to the borders of the paper and just drawing. You can start anywhere without bothering to have a pad or board to hold the paper on. With a paper, you'll always need a hard surface to hold that paper so that you can sketch or paint on it. I mostly use this acrylic board or wooden board to hold my paper on because I've been working with wet on wet watercolor techniques for a long time and it has become my go-to technique. But I'm looking forward to having fun with each spread of my sketchbooks. With sketchbooks, you can start painting or drawing on it anywhere and take it with you wherever you go. It's easy to carry as opposed to having paper and its additional components to keep the paper steady while you paint. If you need to go outside and paint, I think sketchbooks are much easier to handle and carry around. I have had travel sketchbooks in the past and I have experienced firsthand how easy they are to use. I haven't painted outside in a long time, so I kind of lost that travel sketchbook habit in the last few months. But I'm sure that with my new aim, I'll find places to go just so that I can take my sketchbook with me to paint outside in real time. Number two, sketchbooks are the best way and the best place to explore and experiment different mediums, study different techniques, create and test various color palettes, design therapeutic patterns, and to keep a huge collection of illustrations that keeps you inspired and motivated at the same time. When I was painting with sketchbooks, I had this preconceived notion that each of my sketchbooks should be dedicated to a certain topic and whenever I revisited that topic again, I'll get back to that sketchbook. And for this reason, I have tons of sketchbooks which I have started and not completed. I have completely changed my mindset now and will definitely need to get back and finish each of these sketchbooks, but of course, I won't limit myself to a single topic on each of these. Keeping a sketchbook also creates great habits to boost your creativity. When you are dedicating time for sketchbook practice in a day or week, you're actually dedicating time for yourself and your creative growth. I think it is the place where the best ideas will be born because you're not pressurized to create on a large blank sheet of paper. If indeed you create a masterpiece on the sketchbook page, you can always shift it to a larger format. Number three, sketchbooks are a great way to create goals for your art career. If you want to get better in a certain technique or a certain medium, your sketchbooks will be there to help you practice. You can create a goal for every single page of the sketchbook or the sketchbook as a whole. But I think it is best to set yourself up with the goal to complete one spread of the sketchbook every day 
or maybe every two days. And of course, having set a goal to yourself will definitely boost your motivation. Number four, a sketchbook is a great place to take you down the memory lane. When you paint something that you have experienced or capture a memory that you have lived in your sketchbook, you can return back to it later and it'll be like you're being transported back to that moment, back to that reality, back to that memory and everything you experienced then. The second way is that it's your growth that is reflected on the pages of the sketchbook. While a stack of papers can be disorganized, a sketchbook will be like a timeline for your work and show your progress each day that you worked on it. You'll be able to see how much you have grown and how your art and art style has changed over time. It'll be like your little time machine that takes you back to the journey you've been through with your art. I did try to create a little time machine of my own with the paintings I did on paper. This was long back in 2019 when I started painting regularly and my husband, being the proud partner that he is, got me this memory album for my birthday. He had already stuck a few of my paintings along with the Instagram captions that I had used while posting those paintings. It was really cute at that time, but I never really got the time to finish the book. There are a few more pages left at the end, but I'm in a dilemma whether I should be pasting new or old paintings in it. Maybe I should stick to the timeline the album was made and keep it as a memory. Number 5. The biggest beauty of a sketchbook is that you can do whatever you want with those pages. You do not have any deadlines to meet or no client expectations. And the best thing about sketchbooks are that you would do much more with each spread than you would do on an expensive sheet of paper. When it comes to paper for certain medium, for example watercolor, it can be quite expensive and once you have gone down that lane and purchased it, there's no way you will feel okay to do some random strokes and practice sessions on those sheets of paper. But with sketchbooks, that is not the case. You are more open to let your creative muscles take its own turn and even if it ends up with a painting that you're not satisfied with, you wouldn't be feeling as negative as you would if you had wasted expensive paper. I feel that sketchbook is the best place to flex your creative muscles and grow your art career. Lastly, sketchbooks are easier to store than paper or canvas. Storage may not be an issue if you are an artist with a huge home or abundant studio space. But unfortunately, this is not the case for many of us. We always have to keep searching for more space in our homes just to keep our art supplies. Imagine adding bundles of paper sheets to that. That is exactly what happened to me. You could keep sketchbooks stacked up easily in a bookshelf or on a table or anywhere and the best thing is that 30 paintings or more in one single sketchbook takes up the place of just one book, whereas 30 individual sheets of paper will utilize more space. I did try to organize some of my paintings to file with plastic sleeves like this, but eventually I realized that this was not feasible because I wasn't always painting in the exact same size of paper. This was a 100 sleeve folder and it ended up being bulky and heavy as soon as I filled in just half the number of sleeves. Also, since I couldn't store the paintings by date as the sizes I painted on were different, the whole thing was completely disorganized. However, I adore this painting storage file of mine. If you're still someone who prefers to paint on paper over sketchbook, this is the one that you could store your paintings. With canvas, it is a whole different issue and I don't even know how to suggest a solution for that. Also, this Ivar trolley from IKEA is where I have been storing all my paintings till now. But as you can see, it is already full and there will be more paintings on paper that I'll be doing for my Skillshare classes and YouTube videos. I definitely will need space to accommodate them in here. With regards to sketchbooks, I'm a big hoarder and keep getting new sketchbooks when I see something good or a good deal somewhere. For example, when I travelled to India last time, I bought few handmade A4 size sketchbooks with watercolour paper on them because I knew I couldn't get them easily in the UK. And I couldn't resist myself from getting these paint every surface sketchbooks from Blue Pine Arts when they launched this. 
So I am now stuck with a massive collection of unused and unfinished sketchbooks and I really want to get to it. Obviously, everyone has their own preferences, likes and dislikes when it comes to paintings. So let me know whether I have managed to convince you that sketchbooks are good enough. Also, I want to know what kind of person you are. Do you paint on sketchbooks already or do you paint on paper or canvas? Whatever it is, let me know in the comments down below how you organize them. Now that I'm consistently posting on YouTube, it would be really great if you can subscribe to my channel and support the same. See you in my next video.